Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your free MLB Baseball Wildcard Game Number 2 series and predictions. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your wacky Wednesday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by the Ram Report. You can get 25% off your next membership today using the promo code OCT23, like in October 23rd, OCT23 and get 25% off at checkout. And it's all for monthly and yearly packages today at ATSStats.com. All right, let's get to game number two today in uh, Tampa Bay at Tropicana Field where Zach Eflin going up against Nathan Navaldi of the Texas Rangers. Rangers taking a stranglehold there of one nothing in the series. In fact, they didn't allow one run yesterday, a 4 nothing win against the Tampa Bay Rays. But today, the Rays are going to send Zach Eflin to the hill against Nathan Navaldi. Minus 160 is the line. Eight is the total. ATS forecast. System play. Going to lead with Tampa Bay in this one. 4.36, 3.64. The over-under landing right there on the number eight. So we do like this game to push when it comes to the computer picks. But uh, I'm going to do like I did yesterday, guys. I'm going to give you the computer picks. I'm going to give you the analytics. And then I'm going to give you my selections, how I'm going to play things uh, for today. And you know what? Uh, once you get into the um, in the playoffs and everybody's followed the Ram Report knows this, to me, when it, you know analytics are really good during the regular season and some of them can help you during the playoffs. But for me, strictly in playoff baseball or any type of playoff, it's all about momentum. You are really handicapping uh, momentum, market psychology. You're handicapping the price. And uh, it, it's just things that I, I really uh, uh, believe in when you're handicapping playoff sports. Now, looking at this game here, Tampa Bay, 6-4 in the last 10, 8-2 to the over. And for the Texas Rangers, 6-4, 3-7 to the under. I had the line listed at minus 158 on my value index. And you can see we're right there with the uh, bookmakers at fair market value at minus 160. I'm going to give the Rays today a 61.6% chance of winning compared to 375 and the Kogos at 56%. Kogo stands for chance of game going over the total. And you know what? I'm watching the interview yesterday. If you saw the interview when they did with uh, Kevin Cash in the dugout between innings, and uh, the Cash man nailed it. He goes, you know what? He said, we're doing mistakes we don't normally do uh, with this baseball team. It just, it, it seems yesterday, Tampa Bay uh, just gripping the bat, playing a little bit on edge. And I'm looking for a different Tampa Bay team to show up here today, a veteran team. Uh, you know, you got the, the best uh, hitter in baseball, Yandy Diaz, right there. So I'm looking for the Rays to really come out today and do a better job. They're 19 and 4 against B type teams, teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage, 20 and 13 to the over. And when you look at the Rays this season at home, 53 and 29 as a home favorite, they are um, 52 and 27 on the year, averaging 5.2 runs and giving up 4.1. So averaging 5.2 runs, and like Kevin Cash did yesterday, um, th this team was just gripping the bat all day, and they weren't uh, making mistakes they don't normally do, especially in the outfield, right? So I would play Tampa Bay today, minus 160. That's how I'd go in that game. All right, Toronto, Minnesota. You know what, Minnesota, uh, I, I guess I underestimated uh, the power that they have at the bat on the plate and the pitching was really good yesterday and it was a uh, three to one final and let's be honest toronto has not hit well um in the, the month of august september and uh, going into this one uh, they're gonna send jose barrios former twin against sunny gray this is gonna be another tough one and uh today the bookmakers making the twinkies a 135 favorite eight is the total i got minnesota winning this one and wrapping up the series 4.1 to 3.6 the over under at 7.8 looking at the twins seven and three on the season uh, last 10, sorry, and 6 and 4 to the over. And I had them listed at minus 130 in my value index. And the chance of this one going over the total is at 51%. And I'm going to give Minnesota a 58% chance of winning. 44.2 for the Blue Jays, who are now on a three game losing streak. However, if you followed the Jays all year, they know they play well on the road. In fact, they're 46 and 36 as a road underdog. 22 and 19. So if you're if you're a Blue Jay fan, and I'm a Blue Jay fan, I live here in Ottawa and Canada, so you know I'm a Blue Jay fan. But uh, you know what? I, I bet with my wallet, not my heart. And just seeing the way Minnesota's playing, 45 and 30 at home this season, averaging 4.9 runs per game. And uh, yeah, so you know what? It's gonna be really tough for the uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. If you look at their last seven games, they're two and five, and they're giving up 4.8 runs per game. Where if you look at Minnesota, last seven games, five and two. Uh, averaging 6.2 runs per game so I, this is going to be a tough one I, you know, I'm going to go with Minnesota as a minus 135 favorite and uh, I'm looking at a 4-2 type game here today for Minnesota. Let's go to the next one here Arizona and Milwaukee. Now you guys know Milwaukee, uh, Arizona was part of my underdog selection. I had 
Tampa Bay as my goal pick to win the World Series. Philadelphia is my second. Arizona is my third. And they did not disappoint. And today, they got, you know, whatever happens in game two, they got Merrill Kelly on deck. And now you got Freddie Peralta going up against Zach 10 Gallon Hat. Minus 130 is the line, seven hours is the total. And I'm going to lean with uh, the Brew Crew on the computer pick. It's the computer pick here 4.2 to 3.8, the over under at 8.17. And looking at Arizona's last 10 games, four and six. But uh, they got that big win yesterday. The thing with Milwaukee at home against those B type teams teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage they're 22 and 13 at home this season at miller park and uh, 49 and 33 at home so as a home favorite they're 43 and 23 but we know the history of this team in the playoffs right they uh, they really um do well during the regular season but for for whatever reason they get to the playoffs and and they just um they, they melt a bit right i'm gonna go with arizona plus a run and a half today so i'm gonna take arizona plus a run and a half that's uh, minus 176 on the money line. So, you know what? I think that's a safe bet. So, if we get a 3-2 type game for Milwaukee, at least we can hook them right there. So, I'm going to take uh, Arizona on the money line. And the final game of the evening, you got the uh, Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies winning big yesterday. 4-1 uh, to one was the final in that one. And today, you got uh, Aaron Nola going up against Braxton Garrett, the lefty for the Marlins. Minus 150's line. I had minus 156 as my value index. And the chance of winning going with the Phillies at 56.8%. And uh, I'm going to go right back to the well here. I'm going with Philadelphia. I think they wrap it up here tonight. 13-12. and 12. Not a great record against B-type teams. And if you look at their home favorite record, 42-26. and 26. And Phillies doing like they did last year, right? Started slow. And then they just got better and better and better each month. And I see that uh, happening right now. Um, yeah, so Philadelphia is my selection. Now, yesterday I gave you guys my uh, series picks. The, and I, what I did this morning is I, 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 I stuck with my Arizona, uh, Philly, and Tampa Bay in my parlay. And this time I included Minnesota. So before I had uh, Toronto as a 14 parlay, now I just flipped Minnesota to Toronto in my, uh, you know what, we'll get some of our, our money back if this happens, if you're following that. But that's what I did this morning. And I, I flipped the uh, the Toronto to Minnesota pick in the 14 parlay to, just to see if we can get some of our money back if the, if the uh, Tampa Bay fans out, right? All right, there you have it. That is my uh, baseball wildcard selections today for Wednesday, October 4th. And again, folks, don't forget, you can get the rain report today at ATSTats.com. In fact, you get the free rain report and go to matchup. Or if you want to uh, come and kick the tires for college football, NFL, get a 25% discount. Use OCT23 and uh, you will get 25% at checkout right here at ATSStats.com. Enjoy uh, another great day of baseball. I'll see you back here tomorrow on a Thirsty Thursday on the live podcast starting at 10 a.m. Cheers.